Hello fellow foodies and welcome back to the channel. This review is for the one and only Pizza King. Only simply because I literally eat so much pizza. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Thank you for all the support. It's literally Thursday and that means one thing, I can do videos. I work Sunday to Wednesday, so literally Wednesday evening, I'm literally like a kid on Christmas day. Yes! Because I know when I wake up, I can film some food reviews and I can talk to you guys. Thank you so much for all the support, like I've said. You know what, today we've got an absolute banger, and yeah, let's have a look at what we've got. Well guys, Iceland have released this Heinz Beans Pizza. It's sort of giving me cheese on toast not, not sort of like cheese toast and beans on on bread, whatever. Cheese and beans on toast in a jack of potato, that sort of vibe. Um, yeah, three pounds, seven hundred and ninety eight calories. A little bit expensive on the three pound mark, but we don't know how good this is. So let's get this in the oven and let's find out what it's all about. Right, so we're just about to get it into the oven. As you can see, there's plenty of cheese and plenty of beans. I mean, there's not really, obviously, a load of toppings. It's probably just like the Heinz bean sauce, cheese, maybe a bit of mozzarella, and the baked beans itself. So it's pretty, pretty simple. But, I mean, so far, it looks like what it is on a box. You know what I mean? Uh, let's just get it in the oven already. Welcome back to the video foodies, look at this, our Heinz Beans Pizza is out the oven after 17 minutes and wow, super cheesy, super beany and I cannot wait to tuck in, let's get to the table. Welcome back to the table, we have our pizza here, looks absolutely stunning, sort of right up my street, I do like a lot of toppings on the pizza, but never mind. Now before we tuck in, I'll give you guys a little description as to what this pizza is all about. 403 grams Heinz Beans Pizza, pizza base topped with a tomato sauce, Heinz baked bean sauce, mozzarella cheese, and Heinz baked beans. How many times do you want to say Heinz baked beans in the description? That is absolutely mental. You know what, I'm so happy just to be doing a video again. Those four days was absolutely just so long, and I absolutely love just making videos. And you know what, sometimes like, I reflect, I mean, I started this maybe like a year and a half ago, something like that, and from time to time I think, you know what, I've come such a long way, and I'm so proud of myself, because I really want to do this um, as a long-term thing, and it's, you know, some hobbies you just do for like a month or so, and you just give up, you know, everybody has off days, and like, days where they think they should probably give up, because it's not quite working out how it should be, but, you know, I love this channel, I love what I do, and I'm never, ever going to stop, and I think I deserve a pat on the back, I mean, I don't want to get all, like, uh, emotional. Go away. This is a free review on a Heinz uh, baked bean pizza, but yeah, um, you know, I just need to give myself a pat on the back sometimes. So, right guys, enough of that uh, malarkey. Oh. We've got the pizza in front of me, and I have a couple slices. I'm gonna save Shan a couple slices, but I've got a feeling she doesn't like this pizza. I, I just, I think she said that she wouldn't wanna try it, so later on, I might just have uh, two slices, well, two more slices, shall I say, and uh, I'll be devouring the whole pizza over the course of the day. So, let's get into it. Um, here we go. It's sort of like, um, it looks like a little bit like a stone-baked base. Three pound, it's a very average size pizza. And let's see what all the hype is all about. So let's go in for that very first mouthful. Mm. You got a rich baked bean sauce. I mean, if you don't like baked beans then you're definitely not going to like this pizza. But I'm a massive fan of baked beans. I don't really eat them enough. I've got loads of cheese. I'm really happy there's a lot of cheese. And it's almost like a tomato-based pizza. Let me just check the box. Yeah, so we've got a tomato sauce-based. It's almost like, um, you know, you get those sort of like tomatoes on a, on a fry up. It almost gives me that sort of vibe with the baked beans. Okay, you don't have cheese, but baked beans, tomato sauce. But this is exactly what I expected so far. I don't think there's many 
combinations out there that are better than baked beans and cheese. It's top tier. It is literally top tier. Simply because the fact the pizza costs £3, I think you could probably make it a lot cheaper, to be honest. Get your own pizza base, bit of tomato puree, cheese, baked beans, done. You could probably make it maybe half the price. I'm not sure, but maybe a little bit cheaper. It's sort of like a novelty thing, this, from Iceland, and it actually tastes okay. So this has been in the oven for exactly 17 minutes. Uh, base is absolutely lovely. Uh, the crust is nice and crispy. And you've got that, you know, you've got quite a lot of, um, you've got the baked beans, the cheese, meltiness. You've got a lot of, like, sort of melty. I'm trying to find the word. It's like there's a lot of, like, liquid sort of going on it. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But you, you sort of understand what I'm saying there. Um, it's quite a sloppy pizza, that's what I mean, quite sloppy. Aww. But yeah, really tasty, you know, you get a rich tomato sauce on the base, you get the rich baked beans, and you have the cheese. It's so simple, but you know what, it tastes actually quite good. I've just seen on the box, it's actually suitable for vegetarians, so if you vegetarians out there want to go, give it a go. Um, it's a tasty pizza. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Um, I don't like to buy these novelty things again once I've tried them. It's all done and dusted, unless it's absolutely spectacular. But it's a tasty pizza, you know. It's for three pound. I won't pay any more, more than three pound for it. It's actually tasty. One of my all-time favourite pizzas is the fry-up pizza. I think I got from Asda. So me, I like more toppings. So effectively, I would like this pizza maybe a bit. Of bit of sausage, bit of bacon, you know, a bit of egg maybe. Anything like fry up wise on this pizza would do it absolute wonders. I like the combination with the baked bean juice and you've got that tomato base. I think that's actually really tasty. And of course, they haven't skimped out on the cheese, which is an absolute bonus. Half a pizza, 399 calories, got 15 grams of protein. Jesus, gonna be bulking. That's gonna be helping me in the gym later. Well, ladies and gents, that is my half of the pizza absolutely demolished. Um, thoughts of that? Actually, a very tasty pizza. Very, very simple. And the sort of, like, the concept is actually very, very good. Here's the box. If you want to go see it, go track it down. But you know what? I probably wouldn't buy it again. I think the novelty of it is fantastic. It's brilliant, like I said. But, you know, I expect more toppings, a little bit more flavour. It's a little bit like a sort of one-dimensional isn't it like cheese and beans with a little bit of tomato sauce on there but overall it's a tasty pizza so no complaints if i could give it a rating maybe out of 10 like i do on this channel yeah probably a six it's a good six so it's like very tasty i'd never buy it again but it needs more topping something like that something else to give it that excitement put some sausage on there make a, a fry up version heinz you know why don't heinz make a fry up pizza that'd be absolutely sick and totally up my street Ambulance going up the road. Noisy, noisy, noisy. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this sort of stuff, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Yeah, what a lovely pizza. And I'll see you guys in the next review.